what's going on folks this is chaotic videos and today i'm actually going to show you some cool battlefield 4 glitches uh, this specific series of glitches is going to be an operation locker i'm actually going to show you many glitches such as how to get outside the map and some pretty cool camping spots all right first guys let me explain the loadout you will need uh, for most of these glitches you will need this specific loadout um, as you can see i currently am using the recon loadout and uh, I currently have a sniper rifle. The primary gun is doesn't really matter too much. You can choose which you want. Same with the secondary. But for the gadgets, the items you will need is a MAV and preferably a radio beacon to get back into the glitch easier. Also, um, if you don't want to redeploy every time, just go ahead and get a thing grenade that you can kill yourself with. Also, using the offensive perk does help a bit because it increases your maximum sprinting speed by 10%. As you can see guys, I just spawned in. Um, I believe it's on the Russian side, uh, yes. And I am currently going towards E. This first glitch guys is going to be how to get outside the map. As you can see, E is right there, but we are not actually going to capture it or go towards it. Instead, we're gonna go around it. And as you can see, uh, I'm currently here. And then I'm gonna go right by the jail cell area. Nice little uh, medic area over in there. And we're going to go ahead and hop on that middle ledge right where I just shot at. As you can see, get on those boxes and just go ahead and hop on here. This is a spot of its own. It's pretty good, but we're going to show you a nice little glitch. It's going to take me a little bit, a uh, few tries. You're going to have to get your Mav and place it inside the wall where it's just sticking straight up, where it does not go outside the wall. There I did have it, but I messed up. But luckily, I did manage to get it again. Then you're going to have to hop right on top of it. It might take you a couple tries. Surprisingly, I got it right on the first try. Go prone and just keep on dragging your body into the wall. After you do that uh, for a few moments, you should be able to get inside the wall. Now, as you can see, guys, I am currently inside the map. In this area, I'm going to go ahead and place a radio beacon just in case I die. Uh, as you can see, I can see majority of the map, uh, though you cannot shoot through it. There are certain spots you can um, go around and shoot. As you can see, my grenade just bounced off the invisible wall. And I'm going to show you an um, add-on to this glitch. Go ahead and go prone again. And uh, I was actually going to get my uh, MAV, but I actually uh, lost it apparently, so I'm just going to redeploy real quick. This is where that radio beacon comes in, guys. Very handy. Once you have your radio beacon, go ahead and spawn on top of it. Get your Mav out, and we're going to place it not inside the wall, but right towards the edge of the wall. I have no idea what exploded, but once you do that, go ahead and hop on top of it. Go back and retrieve it, because you might need it. And now you're actually on top of the map. As you can see, I cannot shoot through it yet, um, but it's a pretty nice little view here. I, got, I can see everything, and it's uh, pretty cool. What you're going to do is go all the way on the side, um, go towards, and we're going to go ahead and uh, crouch here real quick. We're going to go towards E. <clears throat> Once you get to E, you're going to see this nice little area right here. And as you can see, the current flag status is capturing. No one can get you inside this area unless they do the glitch as well. So you are perfectly safe. No one's going to harm you. You can easily just stay like this the entire game. The enemy has no chance of getting E. So that always helps to prevent the um, ever so hated uh, spawn cat or spawn kill and um, base rape as many people call it I'm also gonna place a radio beacon there just in case and I'm gonna show you another add-on to this glitch as you can see if you go here you're gonna see some uh, nice little ice and there's gonna be a little path over there go ahead and place your MAV towards the edge and you're gonna hop right on on top of it and you're gonna actually go ahead and try to get on that rock as you can see let me do that I was actually gonna, uh, gonna go ahead and retrieve that but I was like, eh, I don't want to risk falling off. Here, you're going to have to go prone. And you're going to just go ahead and uh, wiggle your way to the outside. Uh, of course, one path might not work. So just go ahead and take another path. As you can see, guys, I currently have a nice uh, sniper position. And uh, I can actually shoot through the outside. And uh, many enemies cannot get here because, as you can see, it's a glitch spot. I myself went too far ahead, but uh, if you wish, you can stay farther back into the wall and just go ahead and pick the enemies off one by one. Uh, as you can see, many people will notice you up here, guys. Of course, unless you start shooting them. That's why I also prefer bows. Bows are always nice. Um, here, I was just playing around with it a bit. Um, and yeah, that's it. As you can see, I got up there. Very useful and very nice. 
All right, guys, time for the second set. Good enough. Go ahead and uh, drop right into your um, um, radio beacon. And as you can see here, you can actually walk around. You can actually explore the entire map like this. But be careful. There are some spots you can fall off of. Um, here's another spot. Just go ahead and follow where my character went. And you'll have this nice little edge here with the um, nice little ice rocks sticking out of it. This one took me a few tries, but I did manage to get it finally. Uh, it just kept on bouncing me back for a little bit. I just kind of wanted that, but it looks like I did mess up a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and try it again. And on this try, I did make it. Uh, as you can see, I did go a little too far out, but now as you can see, I can shoot through the outside. Many people would not expect you in this location because, of course, it's a glitched location. You can't normally get up here. You can also hop on this little thing and uh, go ahead and kill people that are coming out. If you wish, go ahead and put your radio beacon also, and uh, you can just keep spawning there until someone else destroys it. Alright guys, I'm going to also show you um, a little exploration of the map. I myself have seen many people actually do this glitch outside the map, and they found some pretty cool spots where they can shoot the enemies, but the enemies cannot shoot them. Of course, I'm just showing you a general um, area of this hack, just so you can uh, have some fun here real quick. And as you can see, guys, I did fall outside the map. Be careful, not all of the ground is solid, and you will fall off. Um, if you wish to not die, or, um, or if you wish to die, um, you're going to actually have to go outside the map and just wait 10 seconds. Alrighty, once you do that, you can just go ahead and uh, get back into your beacon. And yeah, guys, just keep on playing around with this. A very nice view of the uh, entire map underneath and yeah even use a little parachute right here but uh, enough of this I think it's gonna be a uh, time for our second set of hacks this uh, portion is going to be split into four different hacks um, two of them are going to be outside the map glitches and the other two are actually going to be hidden spots that are very very useful Alright, next guys, as you can see, I am currently at sea. This is where the tower is. Currently, nothing is touched, but it doesn't really matter too much. Uh, you're going to go all the way here. You're going to see this nice little uh, rocky um, thing right there. And you're going to go ahead and jump up to that area. First off, just shoot the corner of this um, nice little concrete. And we're going to hop all the way on top of it. Go as far left as possible. Run and then jump to this ledge. And as you can see, I'm currently on a sea ledge. Many people do not know about this spot. This is not an actual glitch spot. It's actually just a very unique spot that it's very hard to get into. So um, you shouldn't have any trouble getting into here too much. You might, you might take a few tries, but all in all, it's a very simple spot to get to. You can also use your radio beacon. Go ahead and push, put it down. It's usually best to put it in a corner. I like put it behind uh, structures just so people cannot shoot it. And yeah. Pretty cool spot right there. Very good for defending C. You have a view of everything. Okay, next, guys, is going to be actually outside E. This is right where the pass is. If you're on the um, opposing uh, team, which is the U.S., it's going to be right before E. If you're um, on the Russian side, it's going to be right after E. Go outside here, and we're going to actually get all the way on top of this mountain. Um, this one actually did take me a few tries, so just go ahead and watch what my character does. If you see any mistakes, just ignore them, and uh, yeah, it should be golden. As you can see, I'm just jumping from rock to rock. Once you get to this ledge, you can just run up it. As you can see, you can't really go up any higher. Um, it's a little tricky. You kind of have to, uh, you kind of have to get on something, and it's gonna kind of push you up. As you can see, I just did there. Uh, so there's always those invisible walls. You really got to be careful of those. That's why it does take a few tries to actually get up on these glitch spots. Just so you don't mess up, go ahead and uh, watch the entire video first, then try performing the glitch. If you're still having issues, go ahead and stop, rewind the video, and see where you're having issues with. As you can see here, I was kind of stuck. I was wiggling my way out of it. I even used a uh, Mav at some point just to try to give me some boost, but it did fall down. Um, no issue there, as you can see. Just go ahead and wiggle your way up as best possible. Always press space, move all around. My character currently cannot move anywhere, but eventually you will get to a good spot. All 
Uh, as you can see, I did get a little higher up, um, though it it is still tricky. So, um, like I said, you just have to keep on wiggling. But uh, yeah, eventually, once you get to the spot, you will be very happy and pleased um, that you actually found that spot, especially if you're a sniper. Here, I put down the map, but I accidentally dropped it. But uh, here, I actually managed to figure out how to actually get past this area. You're supposed to go on the rock ledge I was just at, go to the left side, and then pr uh, proceed upwards. Once you do that, go to, go to this side, and you're, you're going to feel an invisible wall. Just go ahead and jump over that, and you're going to get over here. As you can see, this by itself is a good spot. You can see the right side and the left side, including the middle. Um, but we're going to get to an even better spot. Now here, guys, is where you actually um, you can actually see many cool things, like uh, the entrance to Russian. Uh, so you can pretty much um, base kill them, or base rape them, as many people call it. And you can also see the right side, a beautiful, beautiful view right here. And you can always just go prone to prevent enemies from shooting you down. Here I actually like to put a radio beacon right here because many people will not be able to destroy it unless they have a mortar or perhaps a grenade. Um, another good spot is uh, right here. Go ahead and parachute down and go all the way to the edge. And then you're going to be right on top of Russian escape. And uh, yeah, you can just keep, go ahead and shoot them one by one as they come out. Of course, probably a shotgun would be best at this situation if you decide to use that area. But always make sure your teammates are near you because you can get outgunned pretty easy. Alright, as you can see, that is how you get on top of that mountain. So that's always good. That's very good for base raping. Alright guys, time for the next set of glitches. This one is actually going to be how to get outside the map. It is currently on top of E. It's on the um, second floor of E. And you're going to go ahead and come to this area. Right across from the uh, nice little pathway, you're going to see some boxes. And this one actually took me uh, quite a bit of tries. But you're going to have to set your map um, right in between those boxes like I did. And make sure it does not move. Once you do that, just go ahead and keep on jumping like I am right now. Um, sometimes you might jump over it. Don't worry, just go back. As you can see, I fell through it. And what you're going to do is just keep on jumping. And eventually you're going to get on top. As you can see here, I actually jump over it. Um, do not worry. Um, sometimes that might happen. Just keep on going back and you should be good. Sorry about all the jumping around, it just, it just took forever to get this glitch down. The other one is um, easier for me. Um, actually, many people say this one's easier because it's less complicated. But as you can see, I am currently outside the map. I can see everything. Of course, I can't shoot through everything. Um, there are certain areas you can get to to actually shoot through the things, which I might make a video about that as well. And as you can see here, I'm currently back at E. I can actually capture E right here and uh, no one will notice. And uh, yeah, just go ahead and put down a uh, radio beacon and uh, play around with this. Uh, see if you can find any cool spots. If you do, um, go ahead and let me know if you wish. And then I'll make a video with giving you credit. Well, guys, yeah, that's about it. And be careful. You still can't fall off. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. See you, folks.